Well, here I am back again. And I have a dog scratching at the door, but I'm not going to let him in. Um, I've been working on this. He listens to that door. I've been, I've been working on this. And, uh, uh, to the K101A uh, battery eliminator. Well, these are the bridge rectifiers I put in, and this really, really solders, solders in really well. I was surprised these tabs are, uh, I mean, it solders really easily to these. It says all you really need is actually a, a 25 watt iron, and you can pretty much do it. Um, yeah, so I have the transformer and all that sort of stuff wired in there. Yep. But uh, yeah, I got, <laughs> I've got a ways to go yet. But uh, what I've been doing is, every time I finish wiring, I put a little mark so I know I've got that wire taken care of. Otherwise, I'll be doing this and sure as anything, I'll forget something if I don't mark them. But uh, so far, so good. Um, and then, now this is going to go in my 1928 case radio, but I never had a speaker for that radio. So I went on eBay and started looking at horn speakers and other type of speakers. And then I found this, uh, it's called a, it's a Sonicord speaker. Actually, this speaker was made in 19, patent actually was in 1925. So I won this auction for this. And that's original. It's never been restored or anything else. That is the original look on it. And actually, it's dark. It will fit in with my radio perfectly because the cabinet's dark. Um, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And uh, actually, I paid more money for this. <laughs> I've got more money into the speaker than I do the radio itself. The radio, I bought at a ham uh, fest for $60. But uh, this one, well, actually, here's the sticker on it. And I don't know if it, if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but it has a patent date of 1925 and when it was made. So, um, but yeah, I paid uh, 94 plus the shipping. So, and the shipping was 25 bucks. So altogether, it cost me $119. That's what this, so, <laughs> putting these old things together is not cheap, really, to tell you the truth. It really isn't. It's still going to cost you money, no matter what. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Uh, oh, I know. Uh, and also, I was at, I was looking on eBay, and I found this uh, antenna switch. Actually, it's one of, a, I think it's a... I forget what it is, but um, a Barnes and Williamson, I think, is the name of it, or something like that. Um, but it has like five positions on it, and I have I had an antenna switch, but it was kind of cheap. It really wasn't really working that well. So uh, I was on eBay and I saw this one over at Hammond Hi-Fi. I could have gone over there probably and pick, picked it up. Uh, cheaper than I bought it online but uh, yeah it only takes like two days to get here so it wasn't that big of a deal so I'll show you what I did with that I actually did mount it you know wires not wireless and uh, and there it is and I've labeled which radio it goes to and all that there. Let's see if I can get any closer. There you go. And uh, so I think that's going to work out really well. I need to switch between three receivers. You can believe that. But I mainly use the uh, 
this is SX twenty eight A. It actually it's it's a huge radio. I mean it it works better than anything else. You can see how big that is compared to the other ones. It's it's kind of huge. <laughs> And that's the uh, also the original speaker for it that I picked up at Hammond Hi-Fi. So pretty much everything is looking pretty good around here. And um, uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, and still <laughs> I got my Arc Five project still there. I still have to work on that too. So yeah, I just have stuff going on here everywhere. Oh, and look at this. I told you this cat loves that chair. I don't know. Every time I get up, she <laughs> she has to get in there. So anyway, that's gonna be it for now. I don't think my battery's gonna go. See you guys later.